Uh, <laughs> we've casted quite a few games, didn't I? Oh my god. Alright. Here we go. Um, spawning in the bottom right hand corner of... Whoa. Akalon Wastes. I forgot the map name for a second there. We have our pink Power Ranger Protoss Biotid. And spawning in the upper left hand corner of Akalon Wastes, up 1 0, we have the green Terran player, Evergreen. Oh. Who is wishing no fun for poor little Brad. Oh, sad times, sad times. Um, okay. Well. I mean, I, I'm really hoping to see another blink all in or like a proxy gate. I want to see, I want to see some DTs. I want to see some carriers. I want to see some battle cruisers. I want to see something freaking awesome. I want to see a new crush. I, I want to see something that we don't get to see often in normal games. <laughs> yeah. I want to see some trolling. <sighs> well, let's see. Oh, two probes lining up there. Gateway first opening nearby, Brad. Neither probe goes to scout. So it's barracks first, so it's looking about the same. I, I just, you know, I, I want there to be ghosts, ghosts and nukes, always. Always. Whenever I watch a game of, whenever I watch a pro game, I'm just like, I hope they go ghosts and nukes. I hope oh there's God. a planetary fortress uh, rush. Friggin' uh, uh, what was it? IPL four last year with Stefano versus MMA. Uh, MMA. <laughs> God, there were so many nukes, oh, so yeah. many ghosts. It was so intense. That was crazy. And then MLG in the winter, I believe it was. Well, in the winter being like March of this year, where Bomber yeah. was nuking his own army all the time. Yeah. He nuked his own army like three times, and it was so sad. Probe getting trapped again, I bet he's gonna get... Aw. <laughs> Brad's uh, so sad. Let me out. Oh, noes. Unfortunately. Let me out. <laughs> let me stop. out. Stop. Yeah, stop. Let me out. <laughs> Cybercore going down as well. And, I mean, it's just looking... Almost identical to the last game. Down to the Reaper. And down to this probe being chased around. This is the probe's chance. He can get out. He doesn't know it yet. Uh Poor baby. Oh okay. god. Well. No. Evergreen. I messed up. Rematch. <laughs> nice try, Evergreen. But that's not how we roll over here at Tumblrcraft. No. I... Alright. So this Reaper is going to move in again. This time it doesn't look like it's going so much for her ass. It's going more for scouting. Stalker is going to force it away, though. Yes. Yes. Another CC on the way in the corner instead of at the front. It does look like the scouting probe has been killed. And the Reaper is still sticking around, just being equally as annoying. Yeah. Um, Workgate research has started. I, I think that's a pretty... Oh no, is the Reaper gonna intercept the probe? He did do his job, he got the Nexus down. <gasps> that was sick. That was pretty sick. Looks like Marines are starting to come out of this reactor barracks. And... Um, I do like the fact that Biodin is expanding right now. Yeah. Really like that. Whoa, where did that... Did the stalker just walk across the map? I guess he just wanted to see a, how many marines he had. Yeah. Well, he is sending over a mothership for as well. <laughs> so, we'll see what happens here. Fair enough. Reaper's coming back for more. <laughs> to try to apply some pressure onto that nexus. And I think Biden just really wants to get an understanding of exactly how many marines Evergreen has right here. He just wants to make sure there's nothing crazy coming, but what he doesn't see is these two barracks and a factory just out of his vision. Yeah. He also doesn't see the CC building up here. Unfortunately. Meanwhile, that Reaper is still doing harassment at Biden's natural. It is going to fly off with just 10 health again. 
Robotics Bay going down for Biden. So it's two more gateways. So, I mean, but the Marine count right now, it looks like Evergreen's doing essentially the same build. He is pumping Marines out of one barracks while he has two tech labs on the other, and he's just he just really wants to get that early combat shield and stim pack. Yeah. As well as the early medevacs. So, I mean, it's pretty smart, but right now Biodin has, like, really good defensive warpins available to him. Yeah. He has a good economy going, because he did expand. Um, and it looks like, I mean, it's just looking at, both players are just kind of doing their own thing. I think they're both thinking about a little bit of aggression. Yeah. So, good for them. Aggression is good and fun. For Biotech Bay, for Bioden. And so that's good. He might have a few Colossus out by the time, or he might at least have one Colossus out by the time that um, Evergreen's push comes across the map, which would be really good for him. He has an Observer out. He's going to go check out exactly what he has. And I mean, it's, looking, it's just looking a little scary because I think Evergreen's just beginning, he's just pumping out units, two Metabatics at the time. and. Yeah. Stim pack and combat shields are both done. So it looks like he might go for this four medevac push again with all of these marines, but you know, I think ba I think Biden's actually ready for it. Yeah, uh, it definitely feels that way. He's got the mothership core for air support, he's got three stalkers, a lot of zealots actually. Mm -hmm. Um and then the two sentries, so he's going to be able to do force fields as well. And he sees it with the observer. I mean, the observer saw all of it, so yeah. see exactly what happens. Scan forward and... Oh! Uh, force nice fields. force fields, though. That was pretty sick. And the planetary nexus is putting in some work, but it looks like uh, Evergreen just really doesn't want to overextend here. Yeah. Um, reinforcements coming across the map, including two more medevacs, and it looks like Evergreen is also taking his third. The sentries don't have too many force fields left, so let's see if the planetary nexus can really help out here. I think there was a brief pause there. Yeah. It um, always does that in the replay. The chat just sort of instantly appears if there was a pause. Yeah. Looks like Biden's gonna have one losses here, and Evergreen has turned around. I think that means that Biden held... Uh, <laughs> I think that, mean that, that means that Biden held, and I think the planetary nexus and those money force fields at first were definitely the cause of that. Yeah. Um, right now it's 40 probes to 33 SCVs, and even though there are mules, I think that's still a pretty considerable lead. But there are a lot of marines on the field right now. Yeah. Working on them rocks. More gateways on the way. And Colossus production. <laughs> there are just so many medevacs out right now. It's insane. Eight medevacs? I mean, I don't think he even really needs or wants to make any more medevacs moment. <laughs> uh, looks like Biden is also beginning to expand. Uh, he's just evening out his gateways to maximize his production and also starting up on the 1-1 one -one upgrades with his double forge. Yeah. Protective rocks. Good unit. Um, there is the third from Bio. Or, yeah. Third. Oh, I can't count for whatever reason. Yeah, he's <laughs> So, I mean, I just, I'm kind of curious as to why, I mean, Evergreen has a lot of units right now, but there are, like, no SCBs mining from here. Mm. I mean, he's in it mostly for the gas, it looks like. But yeah. there are more SCBs over here, so I don't know why he's mining from his natural as well as he's mining from his main. His supply is actually, so pretty. 
it's actually kind of oversaturated in his main right now. I mean, yeah, just by a little. Not, he's actually kind of getting scary close to mining out up here. Yeah, definitely. Armory going down, as well as another starport. Um, Templar archives down for Biden as well. So I would maybe we'll see some of those six storms. Six storms. Uh, he is researching Zealot Charge right now, which is a good counter for mass marines. Mm -hmm. It's going to help close that range really quickly. Definitely. As well as protest ground weapons. He's almost finished with this 1-1. One -one. I bet he's going to go right into 2-2 two -two after this finishes up. Still pumping out Colossus. He's about to hit 3. Um, and I think... I don't think Evergreen has any Vikings. He just started Viking production, but I think he's a little bit supply blocked. So and we do good. have Psionic Storm on the way, so cool, cool. this is going to be fun. Good choice. Good choices. Single Marine going out as a scout. That observer knows everything. Yeah. He's got, uh, Evergreen is getting Terran ship weapons, level 1 to make those vikings a bit more effective. <laughs> I love how whenever Evergreen scans, Bio just says, hi! <laughs> Might as well. It's like, hey, what's up? I know you see me, so... Um, it looks like they're gonna be about even on upgrades. Yeah. Two two starting for both of them at pretty much almost the same time. Charge is about to finish for Bio, as well as Psionic Storm. And it looks like Evergreen is kind of up in his Viking count, but there are just so many medevacs right now. It's terrifying. I'm not gonna yeah, notice. Really I didn't. Is. I didn't say terrifying. It's a terrifying. Um, <laughs> we are four gateways on the way. Lots of pylons, pylons and probes, pylons and probes. But uh, Evergreen's pretty close to maxed out. I think he's going to push out pretty soon here. Yeah, there here we is. go. And the Observer moves out of position just at the wrong time. He doesn't see this push is coming at. Oh my god. Oh no. I mean, it's going to come back and see that there isn't anything at the ramp. But, oh, uh, I don't know. I don't know. Oh my god, I don't know if he saw this coming. But there are, I mean, the storms can definitely save this. Biden. No, he didn't actually see with the observer. The observer's uh, vision range ends just short of the ramp right now, so he has no idea of this huge force right outside his front door. Oh, is this probe gonna see it? Oh, hero probe, hero probe. Oh my God, that's a lot of units. Oh no! All right, here, here we go, and he's gonna storm. Storm. Six storm going down. A lot of marines getting killed in off in the red. I mean, the Vikings just aren't doing it. It doesn't matter that he had so many medevacs. It's just everything is falling, 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 and that went freakishly well for Biodin right there. Yeah. Didn't realize you had Storm. Shit, said Evergreen. Well, Storm, good unit. <laughs> well, you should just always assume that Princess has Storm. Especially if you're Terran. It's probably their best ability. Yeah, I think... I mean, there are just so many High Templars out on the map right now. Yeah. Uh, we have three more medevacs pairing up with this small force here. Evergreen trying to regroup and create something he can really fight with. The observers are going to see it, though. Yeah, I mean, with his infrastructure, he has so many production buildings right now, a lot of them with reactors, so he's really trying to mix up a bunch of marauders in there, because they're a bit beefier and they're a bit better against Protoss units, but, I mean, it's just kind of... I mean, this is scary. This is a lot. This is a, this is a lot. This is a lot of Protoss units, and... Here we go, he's here moving go. in. Here's the fight, and... Ah, uh, the Colossus is helping a lot. Oh, Storm. storms. Absolutely everything apart. Just Tearing up the night. Evergreen. And Evergreen's force is dwindling here. Bringing out the SCVs to fight, and... I mean, there are medevacs still, but they don't have anything to heal. I mean, the Marauders are trying to hold on to do life, but... 
it's just now Evergreen's base is just extremely exposed, and I mean, it's just I think it's over. I mean, if I didn't storm, one zealot in that mix with only four health right now. I just yeah. want to point that out. Wow. Hero zealot. Hero zealot. Hell yeah. The SDBs are trying to hide. They're like, no, we don't live here. Oh no, We're this is this is this is game. This is this is GG. I mean. There is absolutely nothing. The reinforcements can't even help us here. I mean, one, uh, both losses fall, but the re the protest reinforcements come. GG says everybody. Biden brings it back, ties up the series one one with some pretty clever play based on how the first game.